What's going on guys? So it's been a little bit. Uh, we got a little bit done here. Uh, as you can see, we've gone through, checked the torque on everything. All these pieces, all been checked and torqued. Uh, we've got the new rotors on here. I am uh, questionable about their directionalness of it. And these are the calipers. It's going to get C6 calipers, C6 rotors, the, the big six pistons on the front and uh, fours on the rear. And uh, we got new pads and all that good stuff. We're going to clean these uh, calipers up so they look nice. And uh, get new boots for this rack. I think I already mentioned something about that. I've already found those. Just got to get them ordered. We're going to need different brake hoses because the C5 brake hoses are slightly different than the C6 ones for obvious reasons. Uh, so this other side is pretty much at the same point. Uh, I've got this tie rod end off so we can get cleaned up and painted and whatnot. And uh, we're starting to label some of the wiring that's already been put in so we know what's what. So we can just take a direct glance at it and know what's what. I'm real big on labeling wire. I actually have a label maker I use at work when I'm doing wiring that I print off a label that wraps around the wire and I put clear shrink tubing over it so it doesn't move. Uh, it works pretty good. I actually like doing that kind of stuff. So uh, this stuff we're gonna redo. I don't do this. Butt connector after butt connector. Like and as you can see down here, it's just butt connector. On the same wire, there's two butt connectors. See, there's a butt connector, there's a butt connector. Same here. So we're gonna clean all that up and uh, no wire nuts. We don't we don't do wire nuts. That's that's not a standard that I go by. But uh, that is a little short update for now. And uh, see you later. Well, guys, it's the end of the day, and uh, I'm about to get something to eat. Uh, didn't get as much done as I wanted to get done, but we got quite a bit done as far as the front suspension is goes. I've been through the book a couple times. Um, the shocks were upside down the book shows it both ways i'm not really sure why so i'm going to do a little more research on that and uh see if i can find some pictures of these cars completed and uh i mean it works either way but uh i would prefer to have them mounted the correct way however they want them mounted i don't see no reason why they wouldn't be they are they can't mount upright so i'm gonna go back through and figure that out uh we got the rovers on. We're gonna work on getting brake lines and cleaning up the calipers, but they do fit. And uh, we got the new brake pads out, found all that stuff and whatnot. So uh, it's coming along. It's gonna, it's gonna be a neat car. It's just getting started, but uh, it's gonna be a cool car. Other than that, we'll see you next week.